Hi, and welcome again to another edition of our coffee chat. Yes. Uh, I love hanging out with you guys here on social media. I love your, your mug. You have like the yes. little floral M. Very Michaela. Fitting. Very like nice. That. There. Also, none of my uh, coffee mugs that match yours were clean, so here we are. Hey. <laughs> Do you, you do what's together. available, right? There you exactly. go. Yeah. Exactly. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about a couple different things, but mm -hmm. this first one here, weird, happy things. Okay. And so basically, we are talking about the things that you find a lot of satisfaction in as an adult, like having a nice pen to write with Ooh. or when plans get canceled, because I'm sure you all have been there. I know I have. You make these plans maybe on like Monday, you get mm -hmm. to Friday, you're like, I don't know if I really want to do that anymore. Yeah. You really just want to go sleep in your bed. Yeah, so, so when they get canceled, it's like, it's like, yes. Yeah, like you can just lay up, <laughs> watch some Netflix, yeah. eat some junk food, all of those things. Yep. But what are some, would you say, weird, happy things that you enjoy? Because hmm. I, I love the canceled plans. I, I got to say, that's yeah, probably Yeah, that can be a relief. Mm. Weird, <clears throat> happy. Yeah. Gosh. Well, I know you mentioned, uh, oh. what was it, so with a pen? Yeah. And, and we were kind of talking, uh, there's nothing to me, I love those, uh, the gel pens. Ooh. You like the, yeah. Because they kind of like, nice. they get the nice, like, you know, not like the real fine point sort of thing. And I actually got on a pen kick for a while, and I picked up a couple of decent uh, fountain pens. Ooh. Where nice. you actually oh, have yeah. the I ink bet those cartridge. Are so satisfying. It is. Kind of like, yeah, I just write a little bit. You know, I just thought about something. Mm -hmm. I love Oh, pajamas. Mm. Pajamas, a good flannel, or yeah. just any kind of nice pajamas. Yes. We should have a pajama day. Yeah. Oh, we should. We, we totally could do that. Should. We could do that. We could do that. Maybe for Halloween. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to come up with something. That sounds good. How about you? What I know. I'm satisfying to sort of I thing. really like it when I open a new beauty product. Oh, oh yeah. That always feels very satisfying, like a new lipstick or a mm -hmm. new mascara. It just feels... Like you just feel so put together when you open. Oddly, something I can relate okay. to that. Mm -hmm. I can mean, because I'm not when born with it. you open a new it. lipstick, it's not it's not Maybelline <laughs> either, but it's yeah. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> well, it's good stuff. All right. Hey, oh, yes. Well, apparently, something else that's satisfying mm -hmm. is what petting. Petting a dog. It yeah. can actually make oh. you a better person. Apparently. Really? Yes. It has yes. something to do with. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of big words here. Prefrontal <clears throat> cortex of the brain. Basically, it regulates your emotions how well you get along with other people. So yeah. pretty oh, wow. much like petting a dog can help you be a better person. Yeah. Which makes total sense because we have all bonded over this. Yeah. We are dog people. Definitely dog people. We are yeah. not really cat people. Yeah. Which is, I mean, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's we fine. love cat people. You could, I'm yes, sure it we would do. apply to, like if you pet like the cats or whatever. We have Somebody's, to, yeah. Somebody's clapping. <laughs> um, no, that's, that's a good thing. But it now is. you have to clarify though, because I mean, this will make you you know, like regulate your emotions, how well you get along with other people. When you're in the puppy stage, though, there's a little bit of stress yeah, associated with that. Yeah, you're dealing with that right now, yeah, right? Kind of dealing with the whole puppies going outside kind of thing. But it's, it is very relaxing <laughs> at the end of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You give the dog a little pet yeah. there. Absolutely. <clears throat> so go pet a dog. Yes. Right. That is a good thing that you can do. And mm -hmm. also, we always say there's a national day, month, observation week for just about everything. Everything. Right. Yep. It's my favorite month of the year, though, because it's national pizza month. Ooh, now we're talking. And Who I can, doesn't like a good pizza? I can get into mm -hmm. a pizza any <laughs> time of the day. And I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I actually have a ton of of a pizza attire. I've got really? like a crew neck, I've got leggings, I have four t-shirts, I have I think two or three pairs of socks. Pizza thing. I pizza. go really hard for pizza. Wow. Do we yeah. have a picture of that? We do. Yeah, we do. oh look okay. at this, this is gonna... awesome. So wait, so what, all right, we, I mean that begs the question then, I know with um, with you coming to town, Michaela, what, yes. what pizza joints have you tried here in the Tri-State? And what, do you have a favorite yet? Um, I've only, so that's, I want all the recommendations possible from both yeah. of you and from viewers. Uh, I tried, mm, it has a very cool name. We had it yesterday. Oh, you guys, uh, you um, got some Adriaticas. Oh, yeah. However they're, you say that, that sounds really cool. <laughs> that's definitely a good one. That was good. And the meat was like huge on the on the pizza. Yeah. 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 So that oh. was really good. How about you, Michelle? Um, Your favorite pizza place? Mm, gosh, I, I kind of like Papa John's. Yeah. Ooh, uh -huh. Donato's is good too. Right. Donato's. Um, that one. Yeah. Any, I mean, just pizza. Just give me some pizza. Yeah. 
Yeah. Rockefellers. There's a Rockefellers in Ooh, Sharonville good. that's pretty good. It's Dewey's. kind of like uh, Brooklyn style pizza. Yeah, Dewey's is good. I remember oh, Dewey's years ago, right. now it's back to be in Ludlow Garage in Clifton. There used to be a Pizzeria Uno there. It was a Chicago oh, chain, the deep yeah. dish. Oh, but I mean, I got to go with La Rosa's. You can't go wrong with La Rosa's pizza. True. Mm -hmm. that and is that's so true. local. Absolutely. Yes. You got to yeah. stay local there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For Absolutely. sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, one more question. Yes. With pizza here. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Oh. Yeah. That's how I feel too. I feel like if you get a Hawaiian pizza, like, you know, it's it's not, I don't know if you would call it pizza though, right? It's more just like a open face. Yeah, it's a little sandwich. too sweet, <laughs> squishy. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, soggy. Yeah. Not really my fave. Yep. Yeah. No, can't but get into Peppers, it. onions, and sausage, you're, you're doing all right. Mm -hmm. Now, something you did over the weekend with your kids, you went mm -hmm. to, what was that called? The dinosaur? Walk? It was cool. It was or the uh, the Dino and Dragon Stroll, Stroll that they had at the Duke Energy Convention Center. It was just this past weekend. It was neat. They had like the huge, um, like life size dinosaurs that would move yes. and make noise, and they had dragons. It was really cool. And your kids really loved it. I mean, oh they my were gosh, climbing they all over out. it. Yeah, yeah, they liked that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. cool. Yeah. And I went to Ghost Baby. I went to a uh, kind of underground bar. Yeah, uh, speakeasy. speakeasy I mean, real. just gorgeous. The cocktails were great. Yeah. And it was in this big, oh, like a big tunnel. And yeah. um, I, I, we may do a little bit more with that, but I, I love that. So when you're, you know, you're past the, the little kid stage, you do stuff like that. And, oh, yeah. You know, ghost baby, ghost baby, baby, baby. I like that. <laughs> That's baby. been Michelle's baby. word of the day. Baby has baby. been the word of the day. But apparently, <laughs> no, but I know as a little kid, though, um, mm -hmm. with like all the creeks around and playing and all that stuff. You know, yeah. I, I would always go hunting for fossils. Yes. Ah. And so, so maybe your kids are like picking up on that. Yeah, I want to get them into that too. Yeah. There's kind of a, there's a theme here, caves and yeah. dinosaurs, but apparently uh, this is based on betohio.com. Uh, we are at a higher chance or we have a higher likelihood of finding dinosaur fossils here in Ohio. There's some cool ones, yeah. too, because apparently, what did they say, like, hundreds of millions of years ago, this was all underwater. Yeah. And I actually still have my mom, I think, I got to call her and check on this. I think she saved, like, my little fossil collection. Oh, so Where I had found, really like, some of the little, like, the shells or some of the coral or whatever. Oh, um, my nice. inner nerd coming out. What was it, a trilobite? <laughs> I, I never found one, but apparently those were, you can find those around, what too. What was it called? A, tri a trilobite. trilobite. It's like a giant pill bug. You know, like the little. Yes, I know what you're talking. Those are like about. a thing. But if you even look at your landscaping rocks in your yard, I bet you'll probably find some fossils. Trilobite. Yeah. Do you not learn something new every day? From and I believe it has something to do with the the limestone in the mm -hmm. the soil here, like the limestone bed. Mm -hmm. That's where you find fossils. That's cool. Okay. And now you know. Now you know. We are the eleventh <laughs> high. We have the eleventh highest likelihood of finding. How about that? Fossils. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, okay. awesome. Hey, I'm going to be out and digging, right? That's right. right. I will leave <clears throat> you both to that. I think that's wonderful. I had a rock yeah. collection back in the day. Hey, there you but go. I didn't want any of the fossils. That well, scare I'm going to try to dig us out of this. And thank you yes. for Please. joining us for our, <laughs> our coffee chat this week. And a reminder if you have topics, you have questions for us, be sure to ask us here on social media, too. Yes. Thanks for joining us.